Shalom, I'm Rav Leo, and I'm here to transform your day. And today's topic is trusting our homes. I recently heard a beautiful talk by Rav Kim of Afrat, and he asked the following question. He said, when we sit in our homes, he said, why is it we're not concerned about the fact that we're sitting underneath potentially 100 tons of concrete and metal bars? What if it, God forbid, collapsed? Well, he said, we put our trust in the builder. But then he said, well, do we really trust the builder? I mean, we, we don't know him that well. Well, maybe we put our trust in the civil engineer who planned the structure. But we may not have even met him, or if we did, it was five minutes. We maybe saw a report. Well, then we're sort of putting our trust in the degree that he has from the university. Well, we don't really know what quality university he went to and what quality degree. Well, maybe we're putting our trust in his teachers that they learned and they taught him correctly. Well, that's possible. But where did they learn from? So ultimately, we go back a couple of hundred years, we probably find that there was an experiment done in a laboratory where people put a little model of concrete and metal bars together and they tested it with different weights. And on that, we're relying today to sit in our homes and not worry about the fact that the whole thing could collapse on us at any point. So said Rab Kimchi, that explains perhaps why once a year on Shavuot, we go back to Mount Sinai and we remember the fact that we were given the Torah by God in this tremendous revelation to the whole Jewish people. Why is it important to do that? Because every day we live our lives, we run our lives by a number of different commandments by the mitzvot. And occasionally it's worth remembering why we do it. Because when we think about the reasons for our actions, it can inspire us and it can make us question how we're living our lives and how perhaps we could live them even better. Have a great day.